What's going on, my little piglets? It's your BFF Port Shop here, and I'm coming at you with another vlog. Uh, I am taking you guys to school with me again. So I'm leaving the house five minutes early, so I hope I'm not going to be late. Um, because I left five minutes earlier than I usually do. So hopefully I'll get there right on time, and hopefully there'll be a parking spot waiting for me. And uh, so, yeah, I just wanted to talk to you guys a minute. A minute. It's going to be about 15 minutes. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. I'm still drainage and crap. Still getting over this thing. This is week two. But, yeah, just want to talk to you guys a little bit. Um, sorry, no food review today. I've been too busy trying to get caught back up with a school that I haven't had time to go do a review because the entire days that I had open I worked on homework and that's all I did so no food review once again I apologize so the thing that uh, the things that I wanted to talk about were uh, technically there are gonna be two vlogs this week because I'd like to make Saturday the vlogs day so you're gonna get one today and you're gonna get one Saturday so two in one week you're welcome I'm just kidding that sounded ignorant and arrogant but had a little interesting story about Halloween last night um, I worked from pretty much 1 30 to 7 no 11 30 to 7 last night yesterday sorry I'm still waking up and so I got home and I started passing out candy. There were plenty of kids in the neighborhood and I had this big bowl of candy I was giving out. And I probably ran through, I would probably say three fourths of it. That's how much candy I gave out. At first I was given two pieces at a time and then I realized I was running low and I was like, okay, so one piece, one piece, one piece, one piece. And the kids were like, thanks. But yeah, this one kid, I wanted to tell the story because um, parenting reasons. This one kid, dressed up as a transformer, probably about five or six years old, just walks up, I'm holding the bowl, and he goes, trick or treat, and the kid takes like 15 pieces of candy. Now that's an over-exaggeration, but he probably took at least like seven or eight pieces, and then quickly put it in his bag and ran off. And I was like, I was like, I mean, your parents teach you that, your parents don't know that you're doing this, your parents don't know any better, what's going on? Are you trying to get like a contest? prize or something for winning the most candies got on Halloween. I don't know what his story was, but, and then like his little brother, I gave him one piece of candy. His little brother goes, thanks. And he walks back to his parents. So I'm thinking, <clears throat> so like the parents are okay with this kid taking all the, the candy, but they're also okay with this one kid just taking one piece that's not fair so <laughs> yeah that was a little story that and then I had a bunch of like teenagers show up like they had to have been like 16 or 17 show up and they were dressed up getting candy which I was like you know what I liked your spirit if I had the cojones to still go out and do uh, trick-or-treat for Halloween um, I would definitely do that but uh, usually I'll like wear a mask or something and disguise my voice so that they don't know that I'm a 24 year old, almost grown ass man, still trick or treating. But yeah, I can tell some of these kids were older and uh, like two of them came up to me dressed up as inmates from a prison. And I was like, Shh, where the hell did y'all escape from? And they just looked at me like this. Their bags down like this. I'm like, okay. And then they started laughing, and then I gave them candy. I was like, yeah, you kids have a good time. Weird people. So, so yeah, they they uh, were very interesting characters. And I felt so bad because I heard this little girl from next door. This little girl from next door. She was like, oh, I can't wait to go to the Freddy Krueger house. Because usually when I give out candy, I dress up in my full-blown Freddy Krueger costume and give out candy. Some kids love it. Some kids are terrified to go up to the door. And some kids and parents actually take pictures with me. So I was like, oh, damn. 
and all I had was the hat and the glove because I was so tired yesterday. I had such a long day yesterday that I was like, I'm, I'm not in the mood to put the entire costume on because that latex is going to burn me alive and it's actually kind of warm outside. I think it was like 78 degrees last night. So that sweater would probably not be a good thing for me at least. So she comes up to the door. She's dressed up as Batgirl. She comes up to the door and she was like, is this the Freddy Krueger house? And then I just did like, I flicked my claw and I was like, it is. And she's like, oh. <laughs> so I give her the candy and she just leaves. I'm like, sorry. Come back next year. I'll try to do it again next year. Because my neighbors next door, it was like a one-two punch because my neighbors next door have like a breezeway to get uh, to their front door and they always go all out like they have like those those um, mechanical like zombies and and stuff like that they always have like fog and spider webs and I mean they go all out so like they scare the kids and while the kids are terrified I take advantage of it and I like scare them by giving them candy dressed up as Freddy some kids actually just like downright go nope and they go to the next house <laughs> So, like, that's always fun to do every year, but I just didn't have the energy to do it this year. And I apologize, kids. Come back Halloween 2017, and I will try to blow your minds. So, yeah, that was that quick little story. Also, another story is it was my last day at Jimmy John's yesterday. I worked both stores. I worked the first store at uh, 1130, and then I got to the second store about 4. So... I worked all day yesterday. Mondays are usually my uh, my split days. And it was really bittersweet. I told some of my uh, co-workers that it was my last day. And they're like, aww, come back and see us. We're going to miss you. Don't leave. And I'm like, I'm sorry. I, 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 I have to go. I'm going to another job that's going to pay me better and uh, give me more hours. Because... Um, I love Jimmy John's. I loved working there. I loved my coworkers. I loved the, the managers. I loved the owners. But I, I think there were better opportunities out there for me. And I think I found one by working at a local pizza joint that's been around since the 60s. So I think I'll be okay. And so, yeah, I walked out of the first one and I was... I was told, you better come back and see us. I'm like, I love the number 15. I can't stay away from that. So I'm definitely coming back because that number 15 is immaculate. So I am definitely going to be back. And then the other store, the manager there, Chris, name dropping here. Him and I have like known each other for, I'd probably say at least a year. We've been working together for at least a year. And uh, he's going to... Um, Illinois to become a certified manager so um, good luck to Chris you deserve it man you're a hard working son of a bitch <laughs> so he was like I'll see you around right and I'm like yeah dude you'll see me you'll see me I'll come back once again love the number 15 can't stay away from that crap to save my life the tuna is a fantastic sandwich and also the 16 was my first love at Jimmy John's because before I worked at Jimmy John's, I only ate there one time. And I got like the, uh, I think I got the uh, turkey tom with no tomatoes. And I was like, okay, this sandwich is okay. It's no big deal. It's just a turkey sandwich, but I enjoyed it. I thought it was good. So on my first day, when I got my first break, I tried the uh, Club Lulu and instantly fell in love with it thought it was the best sandwich ever and then I tried the tuna so that's like a one-two punch so I love those sandwiches the sandwiches are fantastic um, so due to um, the timing for like the pay periods and stuff for Jimmy John's it worked out to where I pretty much got a week off and I'm, I'm actually excited because that means I can sleep in, I can 
edit videos this week like a son of a gun. I can record videos like a son of a gun. And I'm passing the semi truck. He's going like 10 miles per hour on the freaking interstate. And I'm about to get my ass kicked by this person behind me. <laughs> okay, so that was fun. Not. And so. <laughs> yeah, so I got a week off and I'm excited because uh, that gives me like a little mini vacation. And by mini vacation, I mean doing homework out the ass as well as spending time with friends and family and my baby and uh god i think that semi blew a tire or something i can smell it from all the way back there um and editing and recording videos and watching watching football on saturday all day hopefully and Sunday all day, hopefully, because I don't think I'm going out of town this weekend. Next weekend, however, my friend Casey's coming to town, so can't wait for that. He's uh, one of my uh, one of my friends from high school that's in the military, and so I salute him for that. You know, just uh, I, I I commend him for doing what he does, and uh, so he wants to play football, so hopefully. We're going to play football next weekend. And I'm excited about that because I haven't played uh, football in forever. Last time I played football, I blew out my knee. Um, 2014, I blew out my knee. And it just, ugh, it sucks. It really did. September of 2014, I blew out my knee. So, I couldn't afford to go to the doctor. I at the time so I just never just worried about it so every once in a while if I do too much uh, strenuous activity my knees like okay dude what are you doing stop messing with me so every once in a while it, it comes back to bite me in the ass but I mean if I put a if I put a brace on like a copper fit or whatever it's, it's usually fine it doesn't hurt so I just need to go buy a copper fit at some point next week uh, so yeah, guys, I wanted to ask you this at the beginning because you guys are probably not going to stick around for the entire video. I hope you guys are, but I don't, I don't think so. But I was going to ask you, what should these vlogs be about? Should this be about personal stuff? Should this be about like pop culture, a mix of both? What do you guys think? And my ears just popped every time I get in the canyon. Hate that. So, let me know, because school is approaching, and I have about, sheesh, I got six minutes to spare, woohoo, so yeah, leaving five minutes early does help, so, little word of advice, always leave five minutes earlier than you anticipate, because you'll get there earlier than you anticipate, which is a no-brainer, and that's like a Captain Obvious statement, so, thanks Captain Obvious. <laughs> So, I will be back tomorrow with Chris and I's Pick'em, and I will also be back Thursday with a food review. Friday will be another either video. Saturday is going to be another vlog, and then Sunday is going to be another Cleveland Browns Operation Port Shop. Um, the Browns are playing my Cowboys this week, so I'll see how I favor against America's team and my team. So, it'll be, that'll be interesting, <laughs> to say the least, I, I bet. I bet I'm going to get pissed a few times, like, oh, this is my team, but I'm so mad. So, I am coming to the school on the left. Trying to figure out, I might actually review something in town, in Canyon, if I can find anything interesting. Because um, they have a, in Canyon, they have a Taco Bell, they have a Wendy's, McDonald's, Subway, Sonic, and I think that's all the fast food stuff that they have. But, yeah, I might actually review something in town if I can find something interesting. 
So I'm just sitting at this stoplight waiting to turn left and I just realized my voice sounds really annoying. Sorry guys, you've been having to listen to this for five, 15 minutes and 10 seconds now. So guys, I just wanna thank y'all so much for dropping by and if you can please subscribe. Um, if, for those of y'all watching on mobile, go down below and hit that subscribe button. And for those of you watching on just a, a desktop or a laptop, hit it right here, it's gonna be right here. So, guys, thank y'all so much once again for dropping by. Thank you for listening to me ramble, tell stories about Halloween and work and scheduling and stuff like that. And you guys have a great day, and thank y'all so much once again for dropping by. And always remember my little piglets, Colin Porkchop. Loves y'all the most, so y'all take it easy, guys. And I will see y'all next time. Bye, guys! Taking a left turn.